we've been given that the square root of a plus the square root of b is equal to 10 and the square root of a b is also equal to 10. We need to solve this for a and b. We've got a lot of square roots here. So one thing that is a good thing often to start with to try and get rid of those square roots is to do some squaring. So we're going to take the first equation, the root a plus root b equals 10, and we're going to square both sides. So there's our squares. If we square the left hand side, we're going to end up with root a times root a, which is just a, our root b times root b, which is the b, and we're going to end up with two lots of root a times root b. And this is all going to equal 10 squared, which is 100. We can take away the two root a root b from both sides, but two root a root b, by our laws of indices, that's just going to be root a b. So we'll replace that. But we know that root a b is equal to 10. That's one of the two equations we were given at the beginning. So a plus b is equal to 100 minus 2 times 10, which is equal to 80. We're going to do the same thing with the second equation now. So we've got that root AB is equal to 10. Let's square both sides. So AB equals 100. We've now created a couple of equations in terms of A and B, no square roots in sight. We can solve these because two equations, two unknowns, this should be solvable. So to do that, I'm going to rearrange this one that we've just found. So AB equals 100. Divide both sides by b, we get that a equals 100 over b. And we can now substitute this back into the a plus b equals 80 and find a solution. So we've substituted this into our a plus b equation. We've now got 100 over b plus b equals 80. I'm going to multiply through by b to get rid of that fraction. So we have 100 plus b squared equals 80b. Moving everything to one side to get a quadratic b squared minus 80b plus 100 equals zero. You can now use whichever method you like to solve this quadratic. I'm going to do it by completing the square. So to do that, we half the coefficient of b. So b minus 40, all squared. We then subtract the result of 40 squared, so that's 1600. And we've still got the plus 100 equals zero on the end. Simplifying this and moving those spare numbers over to the right, we get that b minus 40 all squared equals 1500. Square rooting gives us b minus 40 equals plus or minus the square root of 1500. And adding 40 to both sides and simplifying our square root, we get that b is equal to 40 plus or minus 10 root 15. Now we've got b, we can use our a plus b equals 80 to find a. So we know that a is equal to 80 minus b, just by rearranging that equation. And we found b. So a is going to be equal to 80 minus 40 plus or minus 10 root 15. So if we take this away, well, we've got 80 minus 40 is 40 again. And if we subtract the plus or minus, we're going to get minus or plus, so it's just inverted from the b. So a is going to equal 40 minus or plus. 10 root 15. So bringing these together, we've got two pairs of answers. We've got a is equal to 40 plus 10 root 15, and b is equal to 40 minus 10 root 15. And we've got these the other way around. So a is equal to 40 minus 10 root 15, and b is equal to 40 plus 10 root 15. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.